morning besties welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here hi hello and welcome my name is lily and i thought in this week's video i'd take you guys along with me for a week or maybe two weeks we'll see how it goes of reading um i've given myself the challenge to read only chunky books for the next couple weeks i tend to shy away from chunky books because they're chunky <laughs> There are a lot of pages and I get intimidated by the size, but I read Little Women, which is my second biggest book that I own, and I had a great time with it. So I thought I'd give myself the chance to try a few more chunky books and to make it a challenge so it'll be a little more fun. These are the books that I'm going to be reading in the next couple of weeks. The first one is The Fountainhead by Anne Rand. I believe that's how you say her name. I hope I'm getting it correct. But this one reads, when it was first published, oh no, that's about the book, sorry. Is there anything about the characters, like what the book is about? Hold on. Okay, it's about a young architect and his battle against conventional standards, his explosive love affair with a beautiful woman, who struggles to defeat him. Mm, okay. Yeah, that's basically what it's about. I got this book from my first boss. Um, he's also an avid reader and a really great, he was a great boss, really great boss. And this was the book that he gifted me. It's one of his favorites. And I've been putting off reading this for a very long time. <laughs> A very very long time so I would like to give it a try in this challenge and it's the it's the shortest of the books but I definitely think it has more words because the writing in this oh my gosh look at that it's tiny it is tiny the others have a lot of pages too but the writing is not this small writing in this is very tiny so I think this one might be the longest one technically speaking the next book I have is Labyrinth by Kate Moss, Kate Moss, I believe. Um, this tells the story of an architect, an, uh, an architecture, an archaeologist. She is um, on a dig site and she like finds herself inside of this mysterious cave that leads her back to, I think it's the 1200s something like that and basically what she discovers in the cave leads her on this quest to find the grail the holy grail and i think it's told in two point of views a person from the past and a person from present time i've started this one already this one is a historical fiction i think the other one i'm not sure what category the fountainhead falls into but i also believe it's historical fiction but yes, this one I started already and I'm enjoying it so far. The main character, I like her. I like her a lot. And like I said, it's told from two different times timelines. So we have the first timeline is 1209 and the second timeline is 2005, I think. Hold on. Yes, 2005. <laughs> yes, this one. Yeah, right. Two. Um, timelines 1209 2005 and i'm enjoying it so far i'm having a good time with it this one the words are much bigger they're still pretty small but not as small as um you can see that not as small as the fountainhead so i think i can get through this one pretty fast and i'm about i don't even know how much that is not very far in i'm on page 62 I'm on page 62 and the last one that I have is Essential Tales and Poem by Edgar Allan Poe and this is just a collection of some of his most famous works, some of his most famous poems um, and yeah I just want to read some Edgar Allan Poe. He is a great writer um, so I've been told I actually haven't read any of his work. I just know that he is considered a, a father of literature and I want to I wanna dive into some of his work, so yeah. Also, this edition is so pretty. This is a Barnes & Noble edition. We do not have a Barnes & Noble down here, so I have no idea how this got here, but I'm glad because this is a beautiful book. Just look at that. 
look at that. And the back, oh, back, oh, anyway. I'm gonna start with Labyrinth and I'm gonna try to do at least 100 to 200 pages. I have the day off today. So I'm going to read some at home and I'll probably go to like a cafe later and get some more reading done. And I'll update you guys as we go along. So yeah. So it's been a few hours since I started reading. We've made it to page, let me get the exact page. Page 144, chapter 13. And I gotta say, it's pretty boring so far. <laughs> um, the beginning of it was really exciting, really intriguing. It kind of like brought you in with this uh, dual timeline concept um, and I like the characters so far but I'm a little bored I am a little a little bored you know I know that uh, fantasy books especially of this size they tend to drag a little bit in the beginning you just have to push through so I'm gonna try to push through um, but we're gonna take a pause for now quick little pause so that I can go and change and get ready and we're gonna go to a cafe and do some more reading. Hopefully it picks up by the time we get halfway at least. If it doesn't pick up by then, I don't know if I'll finish this book, to be quite honest. Yeah, yeah, right now it just feels like a drag. But I like the plot. I like the idea behind the story, so I'm gonna push through and make some progress. Yeah, I'll see you guys when I get to Hi guys, so I have to get to work now, but I thought I'd give you guys a little update on where I'm at with this book and where my thoughts are. First of all, this is going way better than I expected. Like way, way better than I was anticipating. I don't know if it's because it was, um, because it's a historical fiction, I just set my expectations really, really low. Cause I'm not a like I like history, but I didn't I didn't like history class. <laughs> and I know this is fiction, but I don't know. I just I don't know if because I had really low expectations to begin with, that now that I'm like almost halfway through the story, I'm like shocked by how good it is. But it's so good. It is so good. First of all, our main character. She's awesome. I like her a lot. She's very resilient. She's very strong. She's a quick thinker. And we're getting like two perspectives from her. So it's 
her from the 1200s and her in 2005 and you can even see the differences in between um even though it's the same character you can see the differences in between them in comparison to you know so many years apart what she was like in that time is a bit different from how she is in 2005 but like i said i'm really enjoying this story way more than i was expecting to also it's a lot more gory than i thought it was gonna be i mean i don't know what i was expecting but it definitely wasn't that there was one particular like there isn't a lot of battle scenes but there's one particular battle scene where they described how this man severed someone's head and i was like god damn <laughs> that's a little too descriptive <laughs> just a tiny bit but i am um, i am loving this also i'm suspicious of every character i do not trust anyone in this book except for alice and that's only because she's the main character who knows she might be suspicious too but everybody else her brother her brother no her sister her father her husband and all i don't trust them the police the church nobody in this book i do not trust any single one of them but i'm intrigued by this story i'm i'm hooked i'm invested i want to know what happens i'm in the third part right i don't think i mentioned that this book is separated into five parts and the first part is well the prologue then it goes the city on the hill the guardians of the books the return to the mountains and the epilogue right now i'm on the guardians of the books i'm on what page is that 235 and if i didn't have work i'm telling you i would binge this i'd probably i'd probably finish it today too if i'm being if i'm being real because i'm so invested like i want to know i'm so curious i'm so so curious how this is gonna end and it's very interesting to get to like to get the same character but different perspectives from different timelines like in the 1200s she has like swords and she wears a cloak and stuff like that but in 2005 she's kind of disoriented she's not sure what's going on because she lost her like she don't have her memories from the 1200s but yeah i'm invested i'm fully invested i want to know what happens if this if this pans out good which so far so far we're doing great i honestly thought by the time we got to the middle that i would be bored like i thought this was gonna be kind of a drag but no i want to know everything that happens so we'll see how this end but i can see myself continuing this series because i think this is a trilogy i might be wrong i'll double check that I'm invested i want to know what happens i'm so curious i'm so so curious and i'm glad i picked this book up like why was i putting it off for so long why was i scared why <laughs> i don't understand look how far i've reached it look how far i reach and it's only been a day a few hours anyway i need to leave for work i have a, a night shift unfortunately but that's okay that's okay but i'm telling you as soon as tomorrow i have some time off in the morning and this is what i'm gonna do <laughs> this is how i'm gonna spend my time because i need to know what's going on and like i said i'm highly suspicious of everyone everyone is a sus is a suspect they cannot be trusted even when like there are certain scenes where alice is getting like notes from people and she has to like talk to the police about certain things and i'm like no don't tell them anything they can't be trusted i don't know these people but they can't be trusted everyone is a suspect but yeah i'm enjoying this <laughs> i'm enjoying it so much i can't believe how much i'm enjoying it i'm kind of shocked by that but yeah that's my update for now and i'll see you guys when i see you guys i'm hoping that i get to it tomorrow but i do have some errands that i have to do so i don't know how that'll go but we'll see we'll see um, good morning everyone it's been two weeks two solid weeks since we started this vlog and i've made some progress some progress um <laughs> I finished The Labyrinth by Kate Moss and I really, really, really enjoyed it. I had a great time with this book. I did some light tabbing. It's not too heavy on the annotations, but I had a great time reading it. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the storyline. I enjoyed the characters. 
I enjoyed the ending like this book surprised me it surprised me how much I like it because I've never really read a lot of historical fiction or at least not in the last couple of years so I was kind of scared going into this but I had a great time a great 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 time and I would highly recommend this book I also I'm gonna finish the other two books within this um series because I just enjoyed it so much at first I wasn't too sure if I would finish it but I like this author's writing so I want to read the other two and see if I like them just as much as this first one also, this book has a decent amount of French, not like a crazy amount, but enough that I had to rake my brain <laughs> to remember the little bit of French that I picked up in high school. Very little bit. Very little bit. Um, but yeah, enjoyed the story. Really, really enjoyed the story. Had a great time. Ended up binging the last half of it on the Sunday. I started this um, vlog on a Wednesday and the Sunday after that, I binged this finished it because I just needed to know what happened I needed to know absolutely enjoyed it would recommend and then I went into Essential Tales and Poems by Edgar Allan Poe and I softly very softly very gently DNF this book <laughs> um I'm enjoying it I made it to page 100 and I like it so far I like the writing so far I just feel like I'm not really in the mood for these types of stories. The stories are very, um, very airy and almost spooky. And yeah, I'm just not in the mood for that. So I'm very softly, very jauntily DNF in this book. And I'm going to come back to it at a later time, probably around, um, like September, October, that kind of time. And oh, who knows, I might pick it up before that because I am enjoying the writing it is very wordy that's not that's, that is not a good description the language is very language it's very you know uh the sentences sentence <laughs> what am i even talking about it's just the language is very different it's not as simple as today's language so it did take me a bit of time to get into it but once i got into it it was easier to read as you know we go along some more pages but like i said i'm just not in the mood for it also i think reading several chunky books back to back not my brightest idea you know almost as bad as reading for 24 hours that that was wild this is pretty close to that <laughs> um and especially because the next book that i went into was the fountainhead by Anne Rand. it took me a moment to get into this one as well because the language is very yeah <laughs> um but not only that this is about architecture and i love a good building i like staring at a pretty building i can enjoy you know a well done structure but i don't know anything about architecture so a lot of the like terms and stuff they were talking about i was like what i don't know what any of that means what are we talking about but once i got into this story i found that i really really enjoyed it and i really liked and i'll explain why it's past tense i really liked a uh, main character of like main main there's several main characters in this but the main main one in my opinion is howard and I was really, really enjoying reading his story. However, however, when we get to page, is it 212? Or two, two something, right? When we get to that page, if you've read this book, you know the instance that I'm talking about between Dominic and Dominique. Yeah, Dominique and Howard. You you know what i'm talking about it just um it kind of took me out of the story because i feel like i don't understand <laughs> i don't understand i don't understand i really really liked howard at first but then i read that and i was like what what and then she 
I just, I'm, I'm not too big a fan of her as a character but after that I'm even more like I'm even less of a fan because huh huh I just I just don't understand so yeah once I got to that page I kind of found myself in a reading slump because I just could not I couldn't get past that situation it just felt like it came out of nowhere and it it i still think about it and every time i open this book to go back to reading i'm like Ugh. yeah <laughs> that's how i feel about this book so yeah it's been two weeks and i have not read <laughs> i have not read anything because i just can't get past that so instead of falling into a slump like a deeper slump than i already was in i picked up when we were birds by ayana ayana banwo ayana lloyd banwo um this is a book based in my little island it's based in trinidad um and i'm enjoying it so far i'm only at page 33 but i like it so far it is very reminiscent of home like the some of the things that um our main character his name is darwin um uh, some of the things that he talks about and the way to describe like our towns and stuff like that it is very it feels very familiar and this is a pretty light read in comparison to the fountainhead so i'm gonna take a break from the fountainhead read this probably finish it within the next two or three days we'll see um and then i want to go outside at some point this week i haven't been outside in a minute it's been you know besides being in a slum it's been a very busy two weeks so i want to make some time to go outside maybe a change of scenery might help me get back into the fountainhead we'll see we'll see just that that particular scene Anyway, this is what we're reading right now. Um, it's the wee hours of the morning. <laughs> so we've only made it to page 33. I'm going to do some more reading. I want to get to at least page 100. And then later on, I'm going to meet one of my friends for some movies. Some movies. A movie. I'm only going to watch one movie. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to meet her. Uh, we're going to watch some movies. Why do I keep saying some movies? A movie. We're going to watch a movie. Um... But yeah, that's that's what my day is shaping up to be today. Some reading, some time outdoors, and I think I'm also gonna do some book shopping, pick up a, like one or two books. Um, but yeah, I'll update you guys as we go along. But I really need to take a break from the fountainhead. I just later on in the week when we go to the park, I'll try to pick it up again. Change of scenery might rejuvenate me but for now yeah and if you've read the fountainhead please message me about that particular scene because i feel like even if i finish this story i hope i do because i i do enjoy the story for the most part um i will never understand that part <laughs> like even if i finish the story i feel like i will never understand that particular scene so if you've read this book and you know exactly what scene i'm talking about message me because i need to talk to somebody because what <laughs> what <sighs> anyway i'll update you guys in a few hours <laughs>
Good morning, guys. Um, yeah, it's another day. Uh, if I sound and look very tired, it's because I am. After the movie, my friend and I, we ended up going to Starbucks to get some coffee. And yeah, we chatted until like 1am. So <laughs> I'm a bit sleep deprived this morning. But I'm in a reading mood. I'm feeling good. I had a great time yesterday. Um, I went to the bookstore, picked up a few books, just three books. And I also made some progress in... Um, when we were birds, I have not picked up the fountainhead and I will not be picking it up until I finish when we were birds. Um, but I just want to show you guys the books that I got from the bookstore. <clears throat> First book that I got is The City of Stolen Magic by, who's this by? Not, oh my gosh, Nazneen Ahmed Patak. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, but yes, uh, first of all, beautiful cover, stunning cover. Even the back of it, it has like this little ring around the um, text and it's so pretty. And it says, more terrifying still. Oh wait, no, I'm reading from the wrong. India, 1855, the British rule and all across the land, Indian mag magic is being stamped out. More terrifying still, people born with magic are being snatched from their home. Rumour is that they are being taken across the sea to England by the all-powerful Sinister Company. When Chumpa's home is attacked and her mother kidnapped, Chumpa, born with powerful and dangerous magic that she has always been forbidden from using, must travel to smoky, bustling London to find her. But Chumpa will discover far more treachery than she had bargained for and will learn that every act of her rare magic comes with a high price. Yeah, this sounds like a fun time. It sounds like a fun time. That's basically it, you know, and I like that um, I am trying to read. Oh, this map is pretty. I haven't opened this book as yet, but look at that. Oh, that's pretty. But yeah, I'm excited to read this. I'm excited. Ooh, I'm seeing an illustration. Hold on, hold on. Okay, this book just got cooler. <laughs> But yeah, I'm excited to read this one. I would say this is more like, um, well, definitely fantasy because there's a magical element. But I'm excited to see how this story unfolds, basically. And I've never read like a fantasy novel set in India. So this will be a first. Um, the next book that I got is They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. Um, this one is a really popular book. Uh, I don't know if it's as popular now still um but i used to see it a lot on like pinterest and tiktok and booktube and instagram i've seen it floating around a lot and i want to read it um this is another book where the cover is just look at that cover mm, it's just so and then the little detail of the the girl here well done well done um yeah this one is about on September 5th, a little after midnight, Death Cast calls Matteo Torres and refers Emeterio to deliver some bad news. They're going to die in less than 24 hours. Matteo and Rufus are total strangers, but for different reasons. They're both looking to make a new friend on their ND. The good news is that there's an app for that. It's called Last Friend, and through it, Rufus and Matteo meet up for one final epic adventure to live a lifetime in a single day. So yeah, this sounds like it's going to be fun. It sounds like it's going to be sad. I'm expecting to cry. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to this as well. And the last book I got is Jujutsu Kaisen, Volume 4. Um, I've been reading mangas for a very, very long time. But it's always been online because it's a time... Well, it used to be. Not so much anymore. But growing up used to be very difficult to get physical copies of these books. You had to like order in or someone had to bring it down from the States or wherever they were. Um, or you had to send it in a bag. It was, it was complicated. So I never had physical copies of any of the mangas that I read. But now I see that my bookstores are carrying them. So I want to start collecting them. Jujutsu Kaisen is one of my favorite 
mangas it's one of my favorite animes as well i actually discovered the anime before i discovered the manga and after season one i couldn't wait on season two i needed to know i needed to know what happened so <laughs> i started reading it online and now i get to collect the books physically this is volume four i still this is the only volume i have i haven't i'm just collecting whatever i could get my hands on so if the bookstore has volume 18 i'm gonna pick it up even though i'm reached out far if they have volume one i'm gonna pick it up even though i read it already i'm just whatever i find i'm collecting i also want to collect bleach tokyo ghoul spy x family yeah those are like the main ones and i want to get into some other other ones i want to read my hero academia as well i haven't read that one as yet but yeah this is the volume that i got and I love a good manga, I really do. I really, really do. So I'm happy. I'm happy about this purchase. Anyway, those are the books that I got yesterday. Um, I had a great day yesterday. We watched Dune, which if you've never, I've never, I never read the books before the first one. I still haven't finished the books. I think I only got through like halfway of book two. Um, but I found the movie first, fell in love decided to read the books fell in love <laughs> um and i really enjoyed part two like i really enjoyed part one but i really enjoyed part two i feel like the story is we're starting to do things things are happening now you know um and even if you're not like a fan of the books like if you've never read the books still watch the movies i think it's worth it it's very beautiful like it's very well done in terms of uh directing gorgeous movie oh my gosh so pretty so pretty and the ending like i knew it was gonna happen but like damn you know and i went my friend she's never read the book she's never watched she hasn't even watched the first movie <laughs> but i gave her like a gist of what happened in the first movie and even she was like so shocked by the ending of the second one but i had a great time i really enjoyed dune and i can see myself reading that series um hopefully in the near future yeah hopefully in the near future there's so many books to read and so little time so little time but anyway today is going to be another chill day um i got to i got halfway through when we were birds that's page well a little over halfway i'm on page 139 and yeah i'm really enjoying this there are a lot of things about it that feels very similar like familiar to whom it's not a complete accurate depiction but a lot of the descriptions i'm like oh i'm reading about home and it's a lot of fun so yeah i'm having a good time with this one i'm enjoying it i'm enjoying our characters and i can't wait to see how it ends so i'm gonna try to finish this today i also have some more editing to do for the clips that i took yesterday um for this particular reading vlog um yeah yeah that's the that's the plan for today i also might go to the gym yeah i might go to the gym as well but yeah that's our plan for today anyway i'll talk to you guys later Good morning, you guys. So it's been a few weeks since, actually, it's been a full month and like a week and a half since I started this video. So I thought I'd give you guys an update because I feel like if I wait any longer, this video will probably go up like months, months later, <laughs> and that doesn't make any sense in my opinion. Um, so I thought I'd just give you guys, like, my final thoughts on all the books that I read in this vlog and how I feel about them. And this will be something that I plan to continue. I will be reading more chunky books in the future, and I would like to vlog myself reading those books. Um, so in this video, I'm sure you remember, um, I actually can't remember where I left off this video because it's been so long since i picked up the last book um but yeah these were the three books that we were reading um 
I softly DNF two of these books and we'll get to why I softly DNF them. But first, let's talk about the first book that I read. This is Labyrinth by Kate Moss. It's a historical fiction and it's set in France, um, southern France. Parts of it is in Paris, but most of it happens in southern France. And we have two timelines. We have the 1200s and we have present day, 2005, I believe. Yeah, 2005. And I really, really enjoyed this one. I had a great time. I don't know why I went into it so nervous. I guess it's the size. The size is, is really what made me feel like I wasn't going to like it. But I had a great time. I had an awesome time. This was such a compelling story. And it kept me engaged the entire time. I would say that this does have a bit of French in it. So if you... If, like, it... It's not a lot that you have to translate, but if you're like not in the mood to translate any anything, then yeah, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> but it really isn't a lot of French. I feel like if you have the basics of French, which is all I have, I I can't speak French. I did like two years of it in high school and picked up like two words and I can't even pronounce them right. So we won't get into that. The point is. It's not very heavy on your French, so I feel like it's still readable for someone even um, even if you don't know French. But yeah, good time. Good time. I had a good time with this. Enjoyed it very much. Really liked our main character. She's very strong. She's very resilient. Um, she's a quick thinker. And I just had a good time reading about her and reading this story. And I plan to finish this series. This is the first book in a tr trilogy. Yeah, a trilogy. Um, I actually can't remember the name of the other two books. I'll put them somewhere on the screen here. Uh, but yeah, I plan to read more, especially from this author. I like her writing style. It's very descriptive. I felt fully immersed, especially the 1200s. I felt like I was there, which is wild. So yeah, had a great time with this book. Absolutely loved it. And I still think about it. It's been like a month and I still think about this book. I still think about this character. So good job on that one. The next one that I started reading was Essential Tales and Poems by Edgar Allan Poe. Um, this is the Barnes & Noble edition. I don't know how long ago this edition came out. I found it in like a thrift store and I, I couldn't believe it because look at that cover. It's so stunning. Anyway, I softly DNF'd this one. I have like two tabs in there already. I softly DNF'd this one because I just wasn't in the mood for it. It is, the writing is very airy, it's very spooky. So I want to save it for that season, for fall, for Halloween, around that time. So I will be coming back to this book later on in the year, but I'm enjoying it so far. I like his writing so far. Like I said, it's very airy, it's very spooky. The first story kind of threw me for a loop because it was about a horse um, in the wildest way that you can write a horse story. <laughs> and I just, I was surprised. I was like, what? <laughs> but I liked it, I enjoyed it, and I kind of had a little I'm not gonna lie, I kind of had nightmares about it. <laughs> like, I went to bed thinking about that whole story. Like, what the hell did I just read? But it was fun. I enjoyed it, and I can't wait to finish this later down in the year. And the last book that I'm softly DNFing is The Fountainhead by Anne Rand. This is... How far am I into this? I'm halfway through. Well, it might be a little under halfway. I'm on page 337. And this book is stressful. It's stressful because I can't read it. <laughs> it's been like two, maybe three weeks since I've picked it up and I can't bring myself to pick it up. Like, and But I also can't bring myself to completely DNF it. That's my struggle right now. Yeah. So this tells the story of Howard Stark. He's an in into what? No. He's an architect. <laughs> He's an architect and he kind of goes against the grain of what is traditional in his line of um his career path. And yeah, this basically follows the story of his life, his decisions, things that he does and choices that he makes and the people around him and 
yeah like i find this book so intriguing and so interesting and i want to finish reading it at some point but at the same time i hate these crafters i genuinely do not like them i really don't and i think that's why i'm struggling to finish it i liked howard a lot in the beginning but then some choices he made on page 2 16 to 218 which if you've read this book you know what i'm talking about and if you saw my march yeah my march wrap up i briefly mentioned it i didn't go into detail because i feel like i don't know i might do a whole separate video on this book talking about everything that i experienced reading it but for right now i need to I, it's softly dnf because but I can't completely DNF it because I care. Like, I want to know what happens. I really do. But at the same time, I hate these people. I really don't like them. I really, really don't. And mm, they piss me off. They really piss me off. They do. But it's such an intriguing book. I feel like the writing is really what's keeping me there. Because like I said, I don't like these characters. So it has to be something else. And I feel like the writing is very... I don't know how to put that into words. What would I use to describe that? It's compelling. Yeah. <laughs> it's compelling. It's very, I would say it's very intellectual. This is a classic after all. So the language is quite different from how we speak today. And it is very heavy on the architecture. So if you're not like into architecture, if you don't know certain things, you will be a little confused in the beginning. Um, but this is one of those books where I'll say you have to read it yourself and decide how you feel. I I literally kind of give a proper opinion on this because as much as I hate these characters and I'm struggling to finish this book, I also kind of completely put it down. Because there twice I've been like, you know, I'm gonna DNF this book. And then a few weeks would pass and I'd be thinking about it and I'd be like, no, I need to pick it up again. <laughs> I need to know what's going on. So that's my struggle with this book. So for now, we're going to softly DNF it because I feel like if I wait for myself to finish this, this vlog will come out like months after it was started. And I don't think that makes sense, you know? So we're, we're you know, that's how we're ending this vlog. We softly DNF two books. One of them we will definitely be coming back to this year. This one I might finish this year, but I'm not I'm not holding myself to that. I'm not keeping any promises. But I'm also not gonna completely DNF it. So we'll see we'll see how things go. But yeah, those were the three books that I read in this vlog. I had a great time. I also learned that chunky books are not as intimidating as you might think they are. So if you have a chunky book at home that you've been avoiding because of the size, if you know it's a story that you're genuinely interested in, a plot that you genuinely care about, I'm telling you, you're gonna, you're gonna fly through it. You're gonna fly through it. And also something that I found helpful is having like small books. Cause I had, where's that book? I had When We Were Birds. Love this book, absolutely love this book. I had when we were birds like to break up reading these chunky books and it helps it helps a lot having like a low light read in between such thick heavy books um yeah love this book i speak more about this book in my march wrap up such a good time and i still think about this book had a great time with it but yeah i don't know what to do about this book i really don't <laughs> I don't. <laughs> but yes, if you have some chunky books at home, give them a chance. You know, set you can set aside some time for yourself. And like some of these, I didn't like reading um, sprints. Is that what you call them? Yes, reading sprints. I like set time and I, you know, set up the atmosphere and play some really nice music and sat down and had a cup of tea and got through them. You know, pretty fast. So yeah, give your chunky books a chance, especially if it's something that you genuinely into like you're genuinely intrigued by the story give it a chance you never know um but yeah that, i'm gonna end this vlog here because like i said if we try to finish this book it's gonna be it's gonna be months um <laughs> it might even be a year because i don't know if i'll finish this book this year that's it's a lot 
But yeah, those are all the books that I read in this video. I had a great time. I have a new favorite. I do still think about the labyrinth a lot, so I definitely will be continuing that series. Um, but yeah, that's it for this vlog. That's all I have to say. I hope you're having a good week or a good day or a good month, whatever it is. Um, and if things aren't too hot, I hope it gets better. I know sometimes life can be a bit of a struggle. Uh, but yeah, we got this. You got this. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.